We had a technical question. <laughs> Vampus, interrupt us. philosophical for just a moment, shall we? Monday beats the alternative, doesn't it? I mean, unless you're not inclined to want to live. That reminds me, there's a song I intend to write, and it's going to be called Life is Not for Everyone, or Life Isn't for Everyone. But the fact that you're here and I'm here the music of Harry Warren. One of my favorite Harry Warren songs. It goes like this. Where's that careless chambermaid? Where'd you put my razor blade? She mislaid it, I'm afraid. It's got to be found. Ask her when she cleaned my room. What she did with my perfume. Just can't lose it, I've got to use it. Yes, blues back in town. Hey, Matt Kramer, good to see you. Gotta get my old tuxedo pressed. Gotta sew a button on my vest. Cause tonight I've got to look my best. Blues back in town. Gotta find a half a buck somewhere. Shine my shoes and slick my hair. Get myself a boutonniere. Lulu's back in town. You can tell all my pets. All my Harlem coquettes. Mr. Otis regrets that. Tell the mailman not to call. I ain't coming home until the fall. And I might not get back home at all. Lulu's back in town. La da 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 everybody welcome and welcome Matt I'm glad that uh, we're getting picked up in Thailand it's almost like the old days when they had clear channel broadcasting and you could send a radio signal all across the United States anyway uh, welcome it's music du jour it's Monday and here we are uh, celebrating the music of Harry Warren at the fabled Ridgewood room high atop the hills of Tacoma Washington and this is your host, Casey McGill, strumming your way through a little collection of fantastic music from the days of old. And I've got some show and tell today, by golly. And here it is. Here's a copy of Lulu's Back in Town from a movie called Broadway Gondolier, starring that uh, fellow Dick Powell, who did lots of the... Uh, Busby Berkeley musicals from the Warner Brothers, 1930s. <coughs> and he's ably assisted by Joan Blondell, one of my all-time favorite female actors. And um, we are going to do another tune from uh, one of the famous Busby Berkeley musicals right now. This one is from the Gold Diggers of 1933. Look at this cover. Actually, you know what? This is one of my favorite covers right here. Uh, I love the uh, graphics on that. And this one is a tune called Petting in the Park. And uh, during my, during my um, time in Los Angeles playing in the fantastic group Mood Indigo, I was absolutely pleasurated to be in the company of a 
very talented entertainer, guitar player, one of the world's greatest whistlers, Mr. John Reynolds. And uh, this is one of John's tunes, one of the tunes that he delighted audiences with from the stage and up close at your table. Every night a body should relax after all the wear and tear. Get that oxygen your body lacks. Get it in the open air. Go and find a little rendezvous out beneath the starry sky. Take someone like me along with you. Someone like me, not me. Someone like me. For a little exercise. Get it in the park. Bad boy, bad and in the dark, bad girl. What you doing, honey? I feel so funny. Bad and in the park with you. Getting on the slide. Oh my, acting kind of shy. Oh why? Cuddle up a little, cuddle up a little, cuddle up and whisper this. Come on. Why can't we get started? Come on, come on, baby. Maybe this is wrong. But gee, what of it? We just love it. Headed in the park, bad boy. Headed in the dark, bad girl. Oh, what you doing, honey? I feel so funny. Headed in the park with you. song. We are celebrating the music of Harry Warren today. This is Case McGill and this is Music Du Jour. Hey everybody, if you're feeling uh, generous and excited about this great music we're doing, uh, stop by our receptacle of gratitude um, on Venmo or PayPal. Drop a little something in there. And uh, also you might consider signing up on our uh, YouTube page. Um, it's uh, an easy thing to do and if you click the bell you'll get notified of special events like our Casey McGill cocktail hour coming up on Thursday this Thursday March the 4th and uh, we've got a very special guest coming up uh, Orville Johnson will be joining us and Orville is a fantastic dobro player guitarist great singer and he's also written some really great songs so we're very excited about that, and we have um, a good friend of ours as a celebrity bartender, the excellent bassist and um, musical kingpin of the scene in Vancouver, British Columbia, Jen Hodge. Jen will be joining us to make a libation, and we're going to see if maybe she could spin a 78 for us. You know, Jen has a show all of her own where she... Uh, plays 78 records on her wind-up Victrola, and it's a lot of fun. So check it out. Jen Hodge will be there. That is this Thursday, March 4th, 7 p.m. Pacific time, okay? And now back to the great music of Harry Warren, and it's time for a little piano. Um, this is one I've played before, but 
since it, it's one of my all-time favorite songs, and it fits into our Harry, Harry Warren music format, I'm going to play it again. And uh, it was from about 1934. Oh, here, here's a copy of it. Sweet, this is kind of a plain cover, sweet and slow. And um, I'm just going to check the date on this. 1935, okay. Anyway, um, by the way, let me just say, um, Harry Warren had a wonderful lyricist partner during this time, and his name was Al Dubin. Al Dubin. He wrote uh, the music for, I mean, he wrote the lyrics for Petting in the Park and uh, 42nd Street. He wrote a lot of, a lot of great lyrics with Harry, and they were an excellent team. And um, so we've got a few songs that he collaborated on, and then later on we'll get into some of the other lyricists that uh, Harry collaborated with as well. Okay, but here's a little bit of um, um, Sweet and Slow. song I love that tune Fats Waller recorded that um, and uh, it you don't really get exactly what we had going on there on that, on that version with Fats's version he didn't put as much bluesy thing into it but I'm so glad that I became aware of it and was able to um, pick up on it because I think it's a wonderful tune and I love the way the chords move on that song that's a real one-off you don't see any other tunes with that chord progression. And by the way, this is uh, these are great songs of uh, one of the 
the least recognized of America's great composers of popular music, Mr. Harry Warren. <coughs> and the list of his hit songs and his great tunes, it's remarkably long. And we're going to move up a couple of decades into the 1950s for one of his last big hits. Um, Harry lived up into the 1980s, but after the advent of rock and roll, the pop music world kind of passed him by, and he was in uh, a rather grumpy retirement, you know. But uh, you know, well, des well, you know, his grumping was well deserved because he was such an accomplished <coughs> composer. But this is one of the last tunes that 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 he had a huge hit with in the mid 1950s, and here's a copy of it with Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. And Dean Martin introduced this song, That's Amore. And um, let's see, the movie is called The Caddy. Let's see, when, what year is this? 1953, and a very lovely Donna Reed starred in this movie. Um, right around the same time that she starred in the movie From Here to Eternity. So um, we're going to do a little bit of uh, that's amore for you. All right, <clears throat> in Napoli. <laughs> ah. Are we over here? Oh, okay. Until you started singing. Actually, why don't you why don't you move me over to the okay. other one? Okay. Here we go. Hello, in Napoli, where love is king, and boy meets girl, they begin to sing. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had too much wine, that's a morning. Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, Vita Bella. Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, and yes, Vita Bella. When the stars make you drool like Pasta fuzzle, that's a boy. And you dance down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, signore. Scusa me. But you see, like an old Napoli, that's amore. Over here. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's amore. When the world seems to shine like you've had way too much wine, that's amore. Too much, too much. Bells will ring, ting-a-ling-a-ling, ting-a-ling-a-ling, and you sing Vita Bella, Vita Bella. Hearts will play, tippy-tippy-tay, tippy-tippy-tay, like a gay tarantella, lucky fella. When the stars make you drool, just like a pasta fazool, that's amore. Your feet, your love. When you walk in a dream, but you know you're not dreaming, Signore. Signore, scusa me, but you see, like an old Napoli, that's amore. Scusa me. Ba-do-ba-do-ba! Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Great music of Harry Warren, everybody. Best version of that Samore I've ever heard. I don't know. <laughs> and you know, it makes me go, okay, what are the other versions? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm still probably going to go with uh, Dean Martin. We, we love Dean Martin, but you know what? <laughs> this is a unique version. <laughs> All right, Danny. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean... We're just having we're just having fun here, okay. But um, it's good to see see you pop up on the uh, comments, Danny. Thank you for joining in. Always a pleasure. Uh, Danny and uh, Perry, wow, they were fantastic guests on the last cocktail hour, and uh, we're looking forward to having them back a, another time. And uh, keep keep your eye open for uh, online ukulele events that they will be doing. Uh, very talented, and um, they also have a great little music store in Portland, Oregon, and you can buy all kinds of um, all kinds of uh, fantastic ukuleles there. So if you're in the in the market for a ukulele, check it out. Um, um, Danny, why don't you um, could you post your your link for your website or your store on on the comments? Because I think there might be some people that would be, uh, that would enjoy uh, getting to uh, visit your site. It's it's kind of like, you know, we have all these wonderful rabbit holes that we can go down when we go online, and this would be a lot of fun for those of you out there who like the ukulele. Um, there you go, boom. Okay, now this is exciting. So I want you to check this out as soon as I'm done. Not now. But as soon as I'm finished, okay? All right. So anyhow, um, thanks for tuning in today. I'm about to take off. It's a sunny day here in Tacoma, Washington. Well, relatively sunny. And it's over 50 degrees, and we want to get the hell outside and take a walk, okay? If that's all right. So um, I, I think I might play a little bit of our first song to play you out, okay? And uh, <clears throat> that is uh, Lulu's Back in Town. Another great tune from uh, Harry Warren. Um, and I have actually, I got two more days worth of Harry Warren tunes. Where did I put them? Oh, oh here they are. Look at this. A little bit more show and tell for you. There's plenty of money in you. That's, that's a fun one. Uh, oh, we got a couple of train songs I want to do for you. Chattanooga Choo Choo, that's a Harry Warren tune. And on the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. He wrote, well, I'm telling you, he wrote a lot of great tunes. And then this is one you may not be as familiar with. It's a lovely tune, about a quarter to nine. And there's Al Jolson and Ruby Keeler. And look at this, Lullaby of Broadway. Another one of uh, Harry's great New York tunes. And and here's <coughs> from the Gold Diggers of 1933, the Gold Diggers song. This one, this is the one that goes, We're in the money, come on now, honey. That's this one here. We're going to do that for you. And from the 1920s, a song called Clementine from New Orleans. Now, 
If you're a fan of the great cornet player Bix Beiderbecke, you're aware of this tune because he recorded this with the Gene Goldcat band. And here's a picture, of a big photograph of the singer Blossom Seeley on the cover. She was very popular when this came out. And uh, it's Clementine's a nice tune. And for my fellow Crown City uh, compadres, home in Pasadena. Pasadena is referred to as the Crown City because it's the crown of the San Gabriel Valley. And uh, I spent some years living in Pasadena and uh, I still have a soft spot in my heart and probably my head also for, for Pasadena, California. And um, <coughs> a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Jonathan Stout, is residing there right now, not far from where I lived back in the early 1970s. <coughs> blah, blah, blah. So, okay, we're going to play out. Here goes. Gotta, uh, gotta get my old tuxedo pressed. Gotta sew a button on my best cuz tonight I've got to look my best. Lulu's back in town. Gotta find a half a buck somewhere. Shine my shoes and slick my hair. Get myself a boutonniere. Lulu's back in town. You can tell all my pets, all my Harlem coquettes. Mr. Oates' regrets, oh, he won't be around. You can tell the mailman not to call. I ain't coming home until the fall. Now I might not get back home at all. Lulu's back in town. And I might not get back home at all. See you tomorrow, 1230. Be here.